talking about systems of equations and we want to use algebraic methods to solve linear systems. So when we're looking to solve here, we want to try our best to find a variable with a coefficient of one. Uh, it's the easiest to solve. So in this case, if we look at these two equations, we have uh, 3x minus y equals 13, which we have a 3 and a negative 1. So neither one is 1. And then we have a 2x plus 2y equals uh, negative 10. So in this case, we don't have one that's necessarily that easy for solving. Uh, what we can do is we have to get one of the variables by itself, though. So I'll take this top equation, and we have 3x minus y is equal to 13. And I want to get the y variable by itself. So the first thing is we're going to subtract 3x from both sides. And we negative y is equal to negative 3x plus 13. And we can divide everything by negative 1. And then we get y is equal to 3x minus 13. So now we know that y is equal to that expression there. The next thing I can do is I can take uh, the expression that I have here and substitute into this equation for y. So I'm going to take my y out and I'm going to replace it with the expression we just calculated there. So 2x plus 2, and then I'm going to write in the y in a different color, 3x minus 13, and that is equal to negative 10. First thing, I can distribute the 2 into the parentheses, so we get 2x plus 6x minus 26 is equal to negative 10. We have like terms here, so then we get 8x minus 26 is equal to negative 10. Then we can add 26, and we get 8x is equal to positive 16, divide by 8. And then we get x is equal to 2. Now we know what x is. We already used this bottom equation, so now we want to use the top equation. And we want to figure out what the y variable is. So, or, yep, so I'm going to take my x value and I'm going to substitute in for the x variable. So 3. And then we know that x is 2, or we think x is going to be 2, minus y is equal to 13. So then we get 6 minus y equals 13. Subtract 6. And we get negative y is equal to 7. Divide by negative 1. And we get y is equal to negative 7. So we think we know what the two variables are. And then the last thing is we need to check to make sure that it's true. So substitute the values in. And we'll substitute them into the bottom equation here. So we have 2 times 2 plus 2 times negative 7 is equal to negative 10. So then we get, and we're checking that, so I want to put a question mark there because we want to check to make sure that that is true. So then we get 4 
minus 14, and that is equal to negative 10. So we get negative 10 equals negative 10. So for this one, the solution is 2, negative 7, and this is consistent, independent.